right, folks. Buckle up because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the automotive landscape. You see, Stellantis, the powerhouse behind some of your favorite car brands, has been facing some tough challenges in the North American market lately. Their vehicles have been slipping in comparison to the sleek offerings from GM and Ford, leaving them in need of a serious revamp. But fear not, because Stellantis isn't backing down from the challenge. In fact, they're gearing up for a complete overhaul like never before. Picture this. Stellantis CEO Carlos TZ steps onto the stage and drops a bombshell announcement, a total model restructure for 2024. Are you intrigued yet? Good, because we're diving deep into the exciting world of automotive reinvention. Get ready to witness the unveiling of five upcoming car models that are set to shake up the entire industry. It's a game changer, folks, and you won't want to miss a single detail. Number 5. Ram Rampage Amidst the lightning-paced evolution of the compact pickup truck scene, all eyes have turned towards Stellantis and their bold entry. Picture this. The Ram Rampage bursts onto the scene in Brazil. And boy, did it turn heads. It's not just a vehicle. It's an experience. The interior? Absolutely jaw-dropping. And let's talk about aesthetics. It's a feast for the eyes. But here's the kicker. It's not just about looks. This beast comes with all-wheel drive as standard, making it a true jack-of-all-trades, outclassing the maverick in every turn. But hold on to your seats, folks. The party's just getting started. Stellantis is eyeing the U.S. market for a rampage invasion, and the excitement is palpable. Yet, don't expect a carbon copy. Oh no, the U.S. version will have its own flair, starting with the heart of the beast. The drivetrain, out with the old, in with the new Stellantis is ditching the diesel in favor of a hybrid powerhouse. And while the specifics are still shrouded in mystery, brace yourselves for an inline four engine that'll rival its hybrid competitors. But that's not all. Stellantis is turning up the customization dial. Gone are the days of one size fits all. The US Rampage will cater to every taste and budget. From bare-bones basics to fully loaded luxuries, there's a rampage for everyone. And let's talk price. Sure, it might command a premium, but trust us when we say, you'll get what you pay for. With top-notch interior quality, comfort, and cutting-edge equipment, the rampage promises a driving experience like no other. Number 4. Dodge Charger while we're incredibly sad that both the four-door Charger and the two-door Challenger are going away, we're glad to see that Stellantis intends to keep their legacy very much alive. The upcoming Dodge Charger will be Stellantis's all-new way of approaching the muscle car market. For starters, the all-new Dodge Charger will, as standard, come with a 420-horsepower inline-six engine, which undoubtedly makes it a menace even as a base model. There will also be a version with over 550 horsepower. Furthermore, Stellantis has also announced the possibility of a hybrid variant. However, that is yet to be confirmed. What is most certainly happening is the full electrification of the car for the top-of-the-line performance model, codenamed Charger Daytona SRT. And even though an EV muscle car sounds like blasphemy, we believe that Stellantis might have just hit the spot with this one for a single reason. Multi-speed transmission. This will allow the driver to have better control of his vehicle and the power he has at his disposal. Furthermore, it'll fix one of the biggest problems that EVs have been facing, and that's the lack of connection between the driver and the car. Not to mention that the multi-speed transmission will also increase the overall performance of the car. Speaking of performance, the Charger Daytona SRT is said to have upwards of 900 horsepower, which would make it one of the most powerful road cars ever made. Plus, if you'd like to see the Charger Daytona in action, be sure to take a look at Fast X. You should skip until the Daytona appears, as watching any movie from the Fast and the Furious franchise is only good if you hate yourselves. Number 3. Jeep Recon in a bit of a conundrum in the past few years due to the electrification trend, a good portion of its fan base wanted an all-electric Wrangler, while others remained adamant on the Wrangler, remaining a pure mechanical off-roader. To satisfy both ends of the spectrum, 
Jeep decided to develop an all-new vehicle that'll directly compete with the Wrangler, while also being fully electric. The Jeep Recon is, in our opinion, one of Jeep's smartest moves. As with it, they won't alienate any of their customers while also managing to satisfy both of their needs. The instant but smooth power delivery allows for more control and capability off the road. And the fact that the vehicle has loads of horsepower at its disposal means that it'll be able to do some heavy-duty work. All in all, while we still prefer the Wrangler, we're honestly intrigued to see an all-electric take on Jeep's traditional formula. Number 2. Chrysler Airflow The original Chrysler Airflow was one of the most revolutionary vehicles that Chrysler ever made. An aerodynamic vehicle that focuses on combining performance and comfort with good looks. The original Airflow didn't succeed at winning the U.S. due to some minor defects, such as engines detaching themselves from the car. The Airflow did succeed at revolutionizing vehicle design in a very big measure. The upcoming Airflow will aim at being similarly revolutionary as its predecessor. However, unlike the original Airflow, the upcoming model will aim at completely changing up the SUV formula. Taking a look at the outside, we can see that the Airflow is a very sleek and seemingly low-to-the-ground vehicle. It has a wide wheelbase, a low coupe-like roofline, and a general silhouette that makes it look considerably more planted to the ground than other SUVs. Furthermore, the front of the car is very aerodynamic and smooth, which will grant it much less wind noise and make it more range efficient while also being capable of achieving higher top speeds. But by taking a closer look, we can see that it has a relatively tall ground clearance, allowing it the same utilities that regular SUVs have. Generally speaking, the airflow will be a completely different way of thinking, not just for Chrysler and Stellantis, but for the entire automotive industry. Unfortunately for some of us, though, the airflow will be offered as an EV exclusive. Albeit sad, it does make sense as the airflow will mostly focus on having one of the quietest and silkiest interior experiences that a regular person could afford. Number 1. Ram 1500 Reverend, one of the most anticipated releases for the North American market in the past few years has undoubtedly been the electric version of the Ram 1500. Ever since the Tesla Cybertruck was first revealed, the market went crazy for all electric pickup trucks. The F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T have been the most notable entries in the segment, and they've been extremely popular, to say the least. However, as good as they were, neither of them really scratched the itch when it came down to premium and luxury, which is not something that you want to lack when offering a vehicle that starts over $50,000. Thankfully, the Ram 1500 Rev will fill that void. Just like the current generation Ram 1500, the Rev will focus mostly on comfort, quality, and luxury, and it'll dial those characteristics up to 11. Not to mention that the Ram 1500 Rev will also be a very powerful vehicle, easily rivaling both the F-150 and the R1T. Also, unlike most of its rivals, the Ram 1500 Rev will have massive amounts of range. We're talking about 500 miles and upwards, which will make the Ram easily the most versatile and dependable vehicle of its segment. Generally, the Rev will be a revolution for Dodge. While some of you might not be thrilled to hear that the Ram 1500 will have an electrified version, you should remember something. With the electrification of traditional truck shapes, manufacturers will jointly pull the rug from under Tesla's feet, dooming the horrible abomination called the Cybertruck from the get-go. Thanks for watching and see you next time.